and then you have to have the resin for it. Yeah. These sizes are probably about 10 bucks a piece, maybe a little bit more, 12 to 15 maybe, in expensive stores. So about 20 or 30 for the whole thing. And a mat like this could probably do, probably do a whole pack maybe. I'm not positive. That would do a whole like pack, a like whole gun and everything, or just the, the pack shell? Like a whole well, you proton pack? Uh, you wouldn't do the shell or the uh, the gun, it would just be the pack. Like you everything, can make a pack out of that? It'd be to, uh, to support the inside. Okay. Like yeah. the outside of all the pack shells that are cast are cast in the same type of plastic as, mm -hmm. as we just did, but they're all reinforced with fiberglass since it's oh, such a huge okay. piece. But this would be enough. Yeah, I'd say enough for a whole shell, probably. Nice. You had my attention. <laughs> Did anybody bring any work gloves? <laughs> Ooh, okay. the, the, you mean the list of supplies <clears throat> that we all should have read and brought? No, yeah. <laughs> I did bring a I mask. Read it. I read the list of supplies. Um, we forgot our supplies. Supplies. But I read the list. We brought cake. I mean, cookie cake. Yeah, that's all the supplies we need. It looks like it's kind of like the same concept as paper mache then? Kind of, yeah. All, all, actually, almost identical. Okay. Um, you want to keep them small. You don't want to do them in like big patches or big strips um, and just patch it all over the place. Sometimes you'll do bigger stuff. Some of the, some of the pack maybe uh, <coughs> do a little bit bigger, bigger cuts than you, than these. But this is about what I use on anything really big pieces. There is actual math on here as far as how much you're supposed to use. I think it's like 12 drops per ounce or something. Yeah, 12 drops of hardener per ounce. And that comes with the hardener too, which I've now lost. celebratory jar. <coughs> That's more than 12 drops I know showed up. Did I already use all that stirrer stick? Oh, fun. Really? Did you? I think I threw it away. <laughs> I oh. think that's what happened. Okay, I was going to look for it. With stuff like this, too, you don't really want to use wood or anything that will absorb uh, liquids. Um, stuff like the plastic is fine because it's equal parts, so you're not going to lose much of anything. But with this, you know, that's the catalyst and that's the main part of the resin. If that gets soaked up, you don't have... As, as much in there as you did, it might not dry all the way or it might get ruined too fast. Um, you got a decent pot life on it though. It's like 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes for batches like this, a little bit bigger. You can add more hardener and make it faster if you want. My method is to dip and apply. A lot of people will use paint brushes and like stick it on there and apply or put a little layer down and then stick it on and brush over, but I just dip. And you just 
just stick it on. Like paper mache. Like paper mache. Just make sure it's all flat. If you got pools of resin, that's fine. The other pieces will soak it up later. But then just repeat. And really, this is only going to be used for reinforcement. You'll never really see fiberglass on the outside of anything. You want it all flat though. Um, if you get like bumps in it, um, it may make it look weird on the outside. If you get little the little strands poking up, once these get hard, these are spears. They will go straight into you. Ouchies. Yeah. That's important. Very to very know. big ouchies. Always wear gloves when you yeah, use stuff. Yeah, fiberglass is hard to get out of you. Mm -hmm. It's a bad splinter. And it hurts. She said knowingly. Try not to get anything in your eye yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. And sometimes if you have to go like to the edge of something, you know, you can't just cut it and expect it to be as solid as it would be if you just layered it. But this stuff, once it's hard, you can, sometimes you can do it with scissors if it's a thin layer. Um, you can dremel it off with the cutting wheel if you got a big knife you can hack it off but um if you're going on edges i always like to let it overlap and then i'll go back and cut off the excess and sand and spot putty the outside that's it that's there's nothing to it all of this stuff is super easy it's just new pretty much nobody's really messed with fiberglass before doing props or at least none of us have i guess but that's it and this takes how long to Settle and get hard. Uh, probably about probably about ten or fifteen minutes to where it's hard, but you'll want to let it cure for at least several hours. Got gotcha. uh, Especially if it's like a big support structure, like for the pack. Yeah. I would let that cure for like a day, yeah. and then do another layer, and then let it cure for a day, and then another layer. Um, but you'll be able to you'll be able to touch it and move it, or not move it, but touch it and feel how stiff it is in like ten or fifteen minutes. Okay. This thing. This thing will be a good example of it. That's it. That's fiberglassing. Cool. Any questions? And the I'm resin sure. is actually used on some other stuff too. Like whenever I do my pep stuff, I uh, that's how you actually get it to hold its shape since it's all made of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, you brush the resin on in real thin coats, and once it dries, that paper will it'll retain its shape. It'll it'll be hard, but it'll still be kind of flexible. <coughs> but that's the first step in the pep that you actually do the, the model is to brush on that stuff. So you add this, this, and these together? No, no, no. no, 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 no. This, this stuff is just this stuff is from the, the plastic. Fiberglass is these these two these will come in a bundle. This comes included with that. And then the sure mat. Yeah, because you probably if you add this, this, and this, you'll probably see music. Oh, okay. Nice. No, that's not oh, nice. That's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff needs to not fall off. And there's, there's several different types of this. I use the liquid. Uh, there's some jelly stuff, too, that works almost the same way, I think, as far as how you actually mix it and apply it. But I just don't like it. You can't brush it real well. You can't dip it like I do. It's, it's it seems like it'd be thick. a different beast. Yeah, it's, it's a lot thicker. We had some people give up on using it because it was so thick. Yeah, like it'd be a, sound, sounds up for like something yeah, massive. <coughs> All of this stuff... <laughs> Uh, except for the plastic so far, is from an auto body shop. Uh, the paint's from an auto body shop. Bondo and the and its catalyst are from body oh, or auto body. Bondo. This is this is Bondo. Oh, the fiberglass. This is all the fiberglass. It comes from like auto parts stores or actual Pacific. Mm -hmm. okay. And actually, I think you can get them at Home Depot too. I usually get mine at auto places, but yeah, I think I know, they do carry yeah, them. Yeah, I know you can get the real big stuff at Home Depot. The fiberglass. 